everybody, this is Everyday Commentary. This is a quick video. Um, I'm going to show you the new custom knife that I got. Um, if you follow the Instagram channel, you've probably already seen it. Um, it is a uh, Charles Gadratis small, um, small Pathfinder flipper. Uh, it has uh, Rob Thomas basket weave uh, Damascus. And you can see there. That is the uh, maker's mark. It's his initials, CJG. Uh, the bolsters are made of bronze anodized titanium. And the handle scale is made of white micarta. The back spacer, which uh, matches up aesthetically very nicely with the, the basket weave Damascus, is uh, carbon fiber. And then the pocket screw or the pocket uh, clip and all of the screws are bronze anodized as well. The clip is titanium and the screws are steel. And uh, the knife is a flipper and it flips very nice, very, very nice. There is the Rob Thomas Damascus and I don't like Damascus steel. I think it looks busy and ugly, but uh, the guy that I do the podcast with, Andrew from Edge Observer, he sort of talked me into it, and he didn't know he talked me into it because he basically said, you know, like if you if there's something out there that challenges your design sensibilities, you should try it out and see if you're right or wrong. And so I decided to pull the trigger, in part because this knife was under construction for somebody else, and uh, the deal fell through. So uh, Chuck contacted me, and I was more than happy to step in and buy it. If you look at it, you can see that the knife is a is a liner lock. And there's the liner. You can see that the lockup is is nice and early, nice and early, and uh, the lock goes in and out very very smoothly, very smoothly. Um, Charles usually makes uh, art knives, and so the knife is very very well finished. Um, you know, I I have a couple of high end production knives. I have a, a Strider PT, and I have a Sabenza, but this knife is many, many, many times nicer in terms of the fit and finish. I mean, the, the blade, you can just, you can see everything is well done. The, the, the grind line is nice and clean. The flipper has good traction, good jimping on it. And then that's it. It, it feels and moves like a very sophisticated watch, more so than it does like a pocket knife. And you can easily, easily flip it out with one, one hand, no wrist action. It's a perfect flipping knife. Um, I do carry it. I'm not gonna not carry it. It's a tool, so I'm gonna put it in my pocket. It came uh, probably the sharpest I've ever had a knife. I, I can barely touch it, and it's just sticky sharp. I mean, I can feel it pulling on the ridges of my fingerprints. That's how sharp it is. I mean, it's just so sharp. Chuck did a great job on that. And there you can see like the highlights in the the Damascus. It's a beautiful steel. I mean, I think it, I still think it looks busy, but on a knife this sophisticated, it would be, it, it's okay. It's not, it's not going to drive me crazy. And the, the anodizing is, is really nice on that, that, that bolster. I love the bolstered look. Um, the knife is perfect size for me. It just fits really nicely in the hand. It fits really nicely in the pocket. And so there you go.